and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin. Thanks for tuning in on another video. Uh, right, today uh, it's a bit of a weekend out. Uh, I've come once again back to sunny Brighton. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around the town centre. I'm down the sort of by the pier, um, by the lanes area. I don't know Brighton that well, uh, but I'm by the lanes, so I thought I'd just do a little walk around, show you what's going on. Really busy today, nice and warm. The temperature, according to my finger and a thing on the phone, is about 20 degrees, so uh, it's nice and lively. So what we'll do, we're going to go for a little walk and uh, see what we can see. Here we go. Okay, so just to get some bearings, I don't even know the name of this street, uh, but the sea is right in front of me. The big piers to the left and uh, it's somewhere around the lane so i thought i'd do a random walk and uh, just show you what's going on so uh some nice little niche shops around this end of town uh got red gecko ch weston's gunsmith country clothing for those of you who remember the film from the late 70s quadrophenia alley selling all your mod gear nice shop check that and I found this, if you do remember the film, it was 1979 about the mods, the mod scene in uh, London. They filmed some of the scenes in Brighton. And uh, this is one of the uh, one of the areas where they filmed Quadrophenia Alley, it's called now. I think the main star, uh, I think, Jimmy, I think the character's name was, I can't remember. It's played by Phil Daniels. They chased him down here. And uh, yeah, there's a famous scene where he was a bit upset and he's popping his pills. Anyway, so it's Quadrophenia Alley. Check it out. Some choice artwork on the walls. <laughs> there we go, and then we do it right. Sorry. So coming out, we've got Martin's Burger House. East Street Tap, little boozer. Check this place. Hello Kitty Cafe. As I say, I don't know Brighton well at all. I'm literally walking randomly. I'm sure some of you will have been here if you have been or you live here. I know Johnny Vlogger lives around this area, it's his neck of the woods. <coughs> Drop me a comment below. Only here for today. Uh, go back to Bournemouth later this evening. Just a random day out. So we're heading towards the seafront. Really busy today. Left Bournemouth at about 11 o'clock this morning. 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, had to pop from Bournemouth up to uh, West London. Took about an hour and a half, the roads weren't too bad, and then we dropped from West London down here. But uh, more about that in the next video. <laughs> there goes, there's Brighton Pier. Gonna do a vlog on that before we leave today, so uh, look out for that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so let's go down on the promenade. Oh, bit of music, have to talk over that. I noticed, I walked on here before and there's a few bars and restaurants that have uh, live music outside in the afternoon. Creates a nice vibe, especially on a sunny day like today. A couple of art galleries, rare art gallery. CC's gallery, the Arch, Bright Gallery 242. Fat Boy Slim. And then along here is like a little run of sort of gift shops. Show you the beach. A lot of people on the beach today. Over to the pier. I didn't realise how pebbly the beach was at Brighton. I'm used to Bournemouth where it's nice and sandy, get spoiled. But still plenty of people enjoying themselves, relaxing.
Look at that place. There we go. Check that out. He costs nine hundred and fifty pound. <laughs> Is that an investment or a waste of money? Let me know. <laughs> Won't be able to fit it in your house. So to the left here, got a little uh, mini fun fair for the kiddies. It's been busy all afternoon. I walked past it earlier. Always seems busy, especially for a weekend when the weather's nice. And then uh, moving on, we've got Shush Nightclub. I've never done a night out in Brighton, so I've only been here a couple of times. Uh, if you've been for a night out, let me know what good bars there are and what good clubs there are. Any recommendations? Got Shisha Bar on the beach. Looks like it's closed at the minute. Well, they will stay on the seafront, I think. If you look ahead there, that big tall structure there, that's the British Airways 360 tower. Uh, I was here a few weeks back and I did a vlog going up that tower of an evening. And uh, there's some great sunset scenes. So if, you've, uh, if you're new to the channel or you've not seen it, check me other videos. There's a vlog on there where I go right up to the top and back down. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, of an evening, you get some great sunset views in there. <coughs> Oh, silent disco. <laughs> Boogie shoes, silent disco. There we go. <laughs> it's good for a head night, isn't it? Yeah, so as I say, check, it, check me over videos. There's a vlog for that one, the British Airways 360 Tower. And there's another bright one where I went in uh, an American cafe. I don't do food reviews. There's plenty of people on YouTube who do it much, much better than me. But if I find somewhere quirky to eat, then I'll always show you. <coughs> okay, to the right, there's a fishing museum. Just there. Fish smokers. Brighton Smokehouse. Check it out. Just zoom in. Fish finger sandwich. <laughs> the hen night on the silent disco is still going. <laughs> There's like plenty of people on the beach today. It's not bad temperature-wise, it's about 20 degrees, so it's pleasantly warm. A little bit of a breeze, as you'll probably hear, but it's really warm. A lot of people in t-shirts. Got a Buccaneer Cafe. For all you surfers, water sports, Brighton water sports. Live life beyond the shoreline, absolutely. Surf's up. Pop in there later, have a nosy. There you go, some nice stand-up boards, some kayaks. Then over in the corner here, got an extension where uh, looks like storage and where they do the wetsuits as well. And you can hire kayaks and paddle boards, £20. That's not bad. Right, dodgy camera work. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Help the channel along. Watch the videos to the end. If you're new to the channel and you like your water sports and your surfing, check out my other vlog over in Tenerife. I did a surf special in Tenerife. I'm no expert, but uh, it was an interesting one to do. Jet skis out on the sea there. Um, 
So if you've been to Brighton, as I say, or you live around the area, let me know where's good to go, what's good to see. I'm here for the rest of the day. Uh, and I'm back down, back over in a few weeks time as well. What we'll do viewers, we'll go up here. Two cats and a cow gallery, there we go. Check that out. Nice shot of the pier. Gonna do a vlog on the pier later. I know it's been done a few times before by uh, other vloggers, but uh, I'll give you my take on it. Don't fancy that ride at the very end though. I'm not, uh, not up for that today. <laughs> well, maybe. Go on it before I have something to eat. There's a nice beach bar. Sit there and have a coffee or a beer, look out to sea. Okay, so we're up on top, uh, on the main promenade itself. So over there, there's JB's American Diner. I've done a vlog there. Nice little American theme restaurant. Plenty of fish and chip shops, takeaways, Monarch restaurant. We'll have a walk up here. Yeah, that's the, that's the... <coughs> what looks like there, the remnants of a pier. If anyone can tell me what happened to that, let me know. Save me Googling it. Looks like it was burnt down or bombed or something, I don't know. Plenty of action out on the sea today. Got some pleasure boats, sailing yachts, a couple of jet skiers out there. Nice time of year to do it because the water is UK waters, especially on the south coast, probably at the warmest this time of year because they've had all summer to warm up. See a lot in Bournemouth. First nice sunny day we get in March or April, everybody dives in the sea, not realising how cold it is because the air temperature is warm, they think the sea's going to be warm. That's the coldest part of the year. But if you're going to go in the sea and have a dip, now's the time to do it because it's had all summer to warm up, especially when we've had a couple of heat waves like we've had this year. So over there, Prism, I'm guessing that's a nightclub, Prism, Odeon Cinema. Well, I can't remember how high that thing went, that tower. Uh, if you watch the video, I do say it in the video. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, a bit of a cough today. I think it's about, if I remember right, it was 300 and something meters. And the tower, it sort of, it goes up <coughs> and then it stays on top for about a couple of minutes so you can get the views. And then it sort of comes back down very slowly. And uh, inside the capsule, they've got a bar you can buy like Prosecco and snacks so it's well worth it I think it was about £17, £18 for, per person or you can get family tickets so uh, yeah so glad I did it it was about 3 or 4 weeks ago uh, beginning of uh, September we came down and uh, I went up at about 8.30 at night just as the sun was setting and I got some great shots so check out the video you see very busy Plenty of people enjoying the last of the summer on the beach. I was walking past here earlier, this outside bar here, and uh, I'm not sure if they're still on, but oh, there she is. You can see in the, uh, I'll just zoom in, in the little hut there. She was singing live earlier on. Looks like she's, yeah, she's just going to kick off again. So what we'll do, we'll cross over. Just cut out the uh, music. I say, 
one thing different to Brighton to Bournemouth is that we don't have that in Bournemouth. They don't have live musicians and singers singing outside. Certainly not in the cafes and bars anyway. But I like it. I think it creates a good atmosphere. What we'll do, as a certain person says, is take me life in my hands. Cross over here. Onto this side of the road. There we go. And uh, we'll end the video where we started from a scene from the famous film Quadrophenia in 1979, I think it was. This is the Brighton Grand Hotel. And uh, I think it's where Ace Space, I think the character was called, played by Sting, uh, worked as a bellboy on the, uh, on the door there. There we go, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that guys, just a little walk around one small part of Brighton uh, for a quick uh, quick tour. As I say, I don't know my way around, I don't know what's here. Anywhere I should go in the town, drop a comment below, any recommendations. Uh, as you'll know from the channel, I don't, I'm not big on doing food vlogs, to me food is food. Uh, but if I find somewhere interested and quirky to eat or drink, I'll do a vlog on it as well. I've got one coming up on the pier, uh, the video after this will be one on the pier, with a very special guest star so uh, look out for that one as well okay so don't forget if you like the video quick walk around brighton give it a thumbs up if you've uh, not subscribed please do so it helps the channel along and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one